Hey guys, Chris Fix here, and today we're going to diagnose a bad fuel injector. Bad fuel injectors can cause your car to get bad fuel economy, hesitate, idle poorly, misfire, and stall. You might also get a lot of engine vibration when you drive because the cylinder isn't firing. You could also get a check engine light, usually the misfire codes, and that's P0300 through P0308, and that's depending on how many injectors you have. In this case, there are four injectors. This is the air intake assembly. It's a composite. It comes from a Chrysler PT Cruiser. This video is going to show you how to use an ohmmeter to test each fuel injector to see the resistance and then you can see if your resistance is within spec. Real quickly how a fuel injector works, inside the fuel injector is a spring, a pin, and a coil. When the coil in the fuel injector gets charged it creates a magnetic field which pulls the pin up and allows the injector to spray into the engine. And then when the electrical charge is gone, the spring pushes the pin back down so no more fuel could get sprayed. So you're going to get your multimeter, you're going to turn it on and you want it to set it to ohms, which is this horseshoe omega sign, and set it to 200. And when it's in 200, we could test each fuel injector. The fuel injectors on this car are supposed to have a resistance reading of 16.5 ohms. So we want to be 0.5 ohms within that range. So from 16 to 17 ohms. The resistance specs are going to be different on each type of vehicle depending on what fuel injectors you have. And you could find these resistance specs for the fuel injectors just by doing a Google search. You could also find these specs in your service manual. And let's just say you can't find the specs. Then just go through each fuel injector and test each one. All the injectors should be within a certain range. And odds are, if there's any bad, it's only going to be one. So you'll be able to find which one's bad. It'll be the one that's sticking out. So let's begin. So in this case, I have the fuel rail and fuel injectors off the car. You could do this with it on the car. For the fuel injector, you just lift the tab up and then press in this tab over here and pull these right off. That gives you a two-prong connection and you're going to connect a lead to each prong. You're going to want it to look like this. It doesn't matter which color goes to which. So we'll test our own meter really quick by connecting the two lines. Good. Changes. We'll start with this injector right here. And you want to wait for the number to level out. So 16.5. We'll go to our next injector. 16.5. Go to our next injector. 16.5. And you can see the consistency between all these injectors. We'll go to our last injector. 16.5. So all these injectors are 16.5 ohms, and that is exactly where we want to be. That's what the spec is for this car. Now if you had a bad injector, normally one is going to show up and the resistance will be 0.5 ohms off of the others. So if you had one injector that was 14 ohms and all the other injectors were 16.5 ohms, then you know that one injector is off and that needs to be replaced. This is a quick way to tell if your fuel injectors aren't good. Hopefully the video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. I also have a, another video on how to actually listen to each fuel injector and see if it's firing using a screwdriver and you just put your ear up to the screwdriver. If you want to see that video, you could click on the video on the screen or click on the link in the description below. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. I publish how-to videos weekly and I answer all the questions you guys leave in the comments below. And also check out the Chris Fix Facebook and Twitter links. They're in the description below. 